Hi, my name is Brent Thien. I'm a product manager for Persian Pressurization Systems. In this video, I'm going to go over the programming menu of our 7500 Purge system. Okay, so I powered up my unit, and to get into the main menu, what you do, there's two places on the screen you can touch. The bottom half and these two bars, if I, if I hold that, I can change the contrast. I can make it lighter or darker. Now, if I want to get into the main menu, what I do is we're up here where the pressure reading is. I just hold on to that. You'll see the bar go across. And I'm in. Now, it'll ask you for a password. When you originally set the system up, um, you're going to put in a password. You can put in whatever you want. For this one, uh, just have the demo password of 0, 0, 0, 0. Now I'm in the main menu. The first thing is your purge program. I can go in there, and I, there's five preset programs. So I can pick programs one through five. What those programs do, um, program one, two, three, and four are for gas, and they have different functionalities. You can find those in the manual. And if I want a, or if I have a dust application, I would come down to program five. So five preset programs. Once you pick the program you want, just for this example, I'm just gonna pick program three. Then the next thing I can go down to is your purging timer. So once you figure out what your purging time is based on the size of your enclosure and the flow, flow rate that you're getting, you come in here and I hit, again, just hit set, and I can just scroll up and down and put whatever um, time that I need in there. If you hold an up or down arrow when it's doing this, you skip by five seconds and then it goes faster and faster. But to just fine tune it, you just press it and it'll go down by one second. So I'm gonna leave it at two minutes and nine seconds. That'll be my purging time. The next uh, menu option is the enclosure pressure P1. That's your minimum set, uh, enclosure set point. So roughly for gas applications, 0.25 inches of water. Um, for this one, I had it set for a demo at 0.7 inches. So you can scroll down and set that minimum pressure to whatever you want. Your other pressure settings, P2 is a alarm pressure. Um, you can decide to use that if you want to or not. Uh, P3, that would be your purging pressure. So whatever um, pressure you want to be at during your purging cycle, that's your P3 pressure. And then P4 is your max pressure. You can set that to um, a max pressure that you don't want your uh, enclosure to exceed. Next, we have our uh, leakage hysteresis. What this does um, is you set it uh, for your automatic pressure compensation. If your pressure starts dropping in your enclosure and reaches that P2 optional set point that you can set, um, it can kick on the solenoid valve and it'll go up. The pressure will um, um, increase in the enclosure. The solenoid kicks on and it'll increase until you go up two inches of water pressure. So if I have um, P2 set to one inch of water pressure and my hysteresis on is a, in this example is set to two inches, then my solenoid is going to kick on at one inch of water pressure or energize and then it's going to um, force air in the enclosure, the pressure in the enclosure is going to go up until you reach three inches of water. So your P1, you go up two inches of water pressure, which is uh, what I have the hysteresis set to, and it'll be at three inches of water when the solenoid shuts off. So if I hit set, my next function, uh, K2, that's my alarm contact. Um, typically, if you lose positive pressure in an enclosure and you want to set off an alarm, um, you would program K2 to... P1 minus, so your minimum pressure set point. If P1 minus means if my pressure drops below my minimum pressure set point or my safe pressure, uh, the K2 contact will energize, setting off an alarm in my enclosure. As you can see there, because I have no reference pressure going to this unit. So my K2 contact kicked on, telling me that I have an alarm. That, the next uh, menu item is shutoff delay. So if I lose um, positive pressure, there's a one of the preset programs um, will kill power to my enclosure. Now, the shutoff delay, what this does is once I lose positive pressure, you can put a 30 second delay on. Um, that shutoff delay timer starts. After that 30 seconds is up, then it'll kill power to my enclosure. It just gives you a little delay before shutting down power to your enclosure. Next menu item. Uh, bypass, this is just the bypass feature. So if you want to go out and do live maintenance on a machine, um, but you don't want to uh, shut down your process or set off an alarms, you can take a gas sniffer out, check around the area, make sure there's no hazardous gas or dust, 
then put it in bypass mode. And what that does is you can see that it'll close my enclosure power contact. Um, so it keeps your enclosure energized so your process isn't gonna shut down. You can also use this feature during commissioning. Uh, if you don't have air um, to your system and you, have, and you wanna check to make sure uh, the electric is uh, working properly in your system, you can enable the bypass which closes the enclosure contact, energizing your enclosure. Next, we have a unit select, which is metric or imperial. Right now, I have it set to metric. Uh, cycle power, all this does, it kills power to the system and goes through a restart. So if you do want to cycle power to your system for some reason, you can cycle the power with the purge unit. And then a restart default setting, a ro uh, display rotation. So right now, this is what we call a uh, portrait um, configuration where we just have the unit upright like this. If you wanted a landscape configuration, you could turn the unit sideways, but there's the screen wouldn't rotate. So what we do here, so I can go in, if I switch the screen to landscape, now it would be horizontal. So I'm waiting for this demo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it back to portrait. And then the screen flips back. I can change my password if I would like. And then we're back at the purging program. So those are the settings that you can go through um, on the 7500 purge unit. Thank you for taking the time to watch this how-to video. In the comments section below, please find the other links to our um, instructional videos on the 7500 purge system. Also, please like and share our YouTube channel.